But no matter how hot the weather gets, many people in the city still have to work outdoors with no escape from the sweltering sun. Our reporter Xu Fangliang spent this morning with some traffic workers and officers who have to deal with high temperatures on the waters and brings us their story. This is how 15,000 people in Shanghai start their day. Swipe their transportation card to pay the fare, wait behind the bar, and get on board the ferry for a trip to the other side of the Huangpu River. Officials at this ferry port in downtown Huangpu district tell ICS that before there were any bridges, subways or tunnels to cross the river, more than 1.2 million people used the ferries each month. Even now, the ferries carry more than 900,000 passengers each month. And summer is the busy season. For us, the concept of peak hours doesn't really exist, because whenever there is a ferry coming and leaving, there is me walking. But I don't think I'm the only one to stay in the high temperature. Take a look at the cabin of the ferry. It's at least 40 degrees inside, but it's the heart of the ferry. Someone has to walk there. Qing Pei Jun spends eight hours a day in that cabin, dealing with the heat. There is no way I can avoid the high temperature down here. What I'm really afraid of is anything going wrong with the engine and I have to go and fix it. Then it's totally like a sauna. It's not an easy job for them. Not easy at all. Unlike the other boats that sail along the river, ferries run across the Huangpu River. And that poses potential risks for transportation on the waters. To ensure the safety of all passengers, maritime patrol officers like Gao Beili work 12 hours a day. 52-year-old Gao says he has been coordinating on the waters for more than two decades. Most seamen were well trained and they know how to follow the traffic rules and avoid ferries. But there are still many who always misjudge the directions of the ferries. So we have to stay near the ferry stations and keep an eye on the traffic. In peak tourist seasons like now, I usually need to go onto the dock and coordinate the traffic about 40 or 50 times a day. Sometimes I only stay on the dock for 10 minutes, but sometimes it can be one hour. Unlike the cabin which is air conditioned, the temperature on the dock is actually very high because of direct sunshine. And besides the high temperature, the other difficulty according to Gao is the reflection from the water. I can hardly keep my eyes open for a long time when I'm standing here, and Gao says it's easy for him to get dizzy when he has to stand here for more than an hour. Gao is one of more than 800 maritime patrol officers along the Huangpu River, and the city is home to 18 ferry ports in total. Zhu Fangliang, Shanghai Life.